Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Lights on Data show here live on location at IBM's Think. I do have the pleasure of being here with Dr. Gurpinder Dillon, SFBP, Data Management and AI at Dun & Bradstreet. Welcome. Thank you, George. Nice to be here with you. The pleasure is all mine. Now, I'm very, very curious. You do have a lot of experience in data management, in AI, in business strategy as well. From all of this experience, what have you noticed the most as being those challenging situations and challenges overall that organizations are facing when they want to implement AI? Right, great question. So one of the things with AI is that everyone is, in my experience, talking to customers is still struggling and trying to figure out what to do, Yeah. right? And one struggle I see is people do not have the data that they need to make AI work for them. Right. So that's one thing. The second thing they need to also be aware of and the challenge that they run into is getting um, strategic and stake stakeholder buy in. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we get forced into creating an AI capability which we don't really think through how it's going to impact our business objectives and outcomes. So you create an application or a digital assistant which doesn't really get used across the organization. So that's another key challenge that I come, I, um, come across with customers. And then the third thing I think I would say is the ethics and the governance around AI. So that is a huge topic right now in, um, with, with people that they're trying to still figure out. So an example of that would be, you know, if I created this bot, is it going to be able to tell me how it got to an answer that I'm asking for, right, right? Right. So the transparency and lack of awareness from the robot interaction perspective mm -hmm. is a challenge as well. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the key things I have come across. Great answers and I'm really glad that you put the lights on data first because I feel a lot of companies are missing that. Yep. And uh, you know, to no surprise that you have data management and AI in your title and rightfully so, I think that's, that's the best strategy like you said, a lot of organizations are missing that they don't just need to invest in AI, but also that data behind right. it and everything that comes with it. As you're encountering some of these solutions for the challenges that you did mention, when it comes to the AI strategy that one would try and formulate, how should a company ensure that the AI solution that comes out of it, it's both innovative, but at the same time meeting the company's goals? Yeah. So, so that's one of the challenges that I outlined, right? The stakeholder and strategic um, alignment with mm -hmm. what you're trying to do. So what I recommend to customers, and, and something that we religiously do, is that you always try to think about the problem that you're trying to solve, with the AI capability, or even in product in general, that you're trying to bring to market. What pain point is it going to solve for customers? What is it going to do for the company as well? How does it tie to our strategic objectives and goals? So those are the key things that you should focus on. Then once you identify that this is what my market is looking for, this is what my customers are asking for, and then you put together a plan for creating an AI assistant or an application that's going to meet that goal from customer perspective. Now the second thing also is going to be being very mindful of how you are going to go to market with that capability. So I like to think of it as that, you know, start with a prototype or a small scale application, and then you build upon it. Because once you take something small to market, it creates that vehicle, that foundation, that then can be used to seek feedback and get validation right. from customers. So that would be my recommendation to anyone who's trying to create AI applications or applications in general, to follow that path, tie it to the customer's pain points, tie it to your strategic objectives as a company, and then third, make sure that you start small and then you build upon that as a roadmap. Great recommendations, thank you. That's you know, sage advice. Yeah. Now, as we're looking ahead, we do notice already there's a lot of changes within the data management space, AI as well. Is there anything that you're looking forward to that you're anticipating changes to come and innovations to come? Definitely, I think we're in a very unique time frame right now. Gen AI, you know, this is really front and center right now. Everyone's top of mind capability right now that they want to do something with. If I go back though, like, you know, artificial intelligence in general, this has been around for a while, but it's become mainstream now. So the opportunity is huge. I'm very excited about it, especially in the context of making my customers' lives easier. How can I embed these capabilities? So if I put myself in their shoes, for example, today, I might log into ChatGPT or Watson X, right? And I be able to interact with that application without really worrying about, I need to do this, I need to do that, this is the checklist, these are the features I need right. to understand how these work. Right. All I need to do is just naturally talk to them. Right. So from future perspective, I think that's a huge opportunity for organizations to really reap the benefits of all these technological advancements for Gen AI. 
and embed it really into the experience, driving improvements in experience, make it a part of that. The second piece that excites me is, especially as you said, being in data management and AI is, how does Gen AI specifically help us as MDM experts or MDM users to do our tasks more efficiently? Traditionally, MDM was considered a big investment. Customers you know, required to spend a lot of resources and money in making it work. Yeah. With AI, with Gen AI, how do we leverage some of those capabilities and really make it streamlined process so that I'm not investing tons of time bringing these data applications up to uh, speed and market, but I am doing it more efficiently using some of these technological advancement from Gen AI perspective. And then the final one I would say just from personal perspective is I'm fascinated about how AI and humans are going to come together mm -hmm. and coexist. Because there's a lot of opportunity and potential for us to do it right. Like the, the name suggests, artificial intelligence. Right. How do we take the artificial out of that intelligence and make it a bit more real intelligence by augmenting it with human interaction? I completely agree. You know, AI is the service that is enabling that excellence in humans even more, yes. giving it a step up and it's transforming that data into intelligence, intelligence into action. And um, also looking forward for those days to come. Exactly. And uh, in many ways, we're already there. Yeah, I agree with you. Well, thanks so much, Doctor, for this interview and putting the lights on such an important topic and giving us all this sage advice on AI strategies. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Thank you.